So we have configured the first SVI or latest interface in our latest research. Let's continue to configure another latest interfaces and start the route for you to see how that looks like. We'll go to switching, routing, and DHCP. And then remember that this is the landing page because we have created one. So if that happens, then if I have to remove this one, we will check that out after I create an interface. If I to create a new interface, you go here, add, and then the same layer three switch. Let's say this is gonna be VLAN 10, because I want to create VLAN 10, and this is VLAN 10. So the subnet is gonna be 10, 10, 10, dot 10, zero, slash, let's say there. That way, my interface is gonna be dot one. So that's gonna be the interface I created to this switch. The same situation, the same, we don't have to go to these options, and this is always being disabled because I have a of OSPS. We don't have to do it at the end of the week. So if I click save, hopefully everything's safe. Good. Awesome. So now I have in this switch. So when if you have another switch, you're gonna see the same table here with all of the other switches. I have VLAN 10, VLAN 4. You remember this VLAN 4 is necessary because that's gonna carry on the default route, which is the next nice object address. If I try to remove this one and leave this one's blank, what happens? If I click delete, it says, are you sure you want to delete this interface? Yes. Boom, there is an error. It's saying this route, which is this one, the next object of the address is based on that VLAN, most route through a local interface. So it's not possible for me to remove this one because this, in a way, is the anchor for the whole interview route that they're going to have in the layer to switch. So be aware of that. Now, static routes. If you have one static route here, it's going to be a default one, but I want to add another one. So let's put this scenario. Let's say that you have an MPLS router, or you have another router that is connected to this specific layer switch, and there is another subnet over, over there, in the other ether, over the other side. So let's use this VLAN 10 as a transient VLAN, or the VLAN is going to be used to connect between this layer 3 switch and your MPLS router to another router that is there. That's why I put the slash there. So we have the 10.1 for this layer 3 switch, and we can see that the 10.2 is the other side of that link. So to create a static routes, let's like say we want to access to the zones that are in the other side of the MPLS. Let's so say this is the MPLS for a static route, and the subnet is 10.100.0 slash 24. So the next hub IP address is going to be then but two, which is the other side of slash 30 SVI or layer three interface that we created before. We click saving. Now we know that we have two starting routes. The default one that is going to go through the max, and the other one that is trying to reach that subnet through that IP address, which is the SVI connected to this layer three switch in that interface. So that's how the interfaces and the static routes work between each other in the layer 3 switch. See you in the next one.